What is going on, my YouTube friends? Guys, I'm out in the garage today. Um, we went to the car show yesterday, to cruise and stuff yesterday. It was a great show, but I didn't get any video. Too busy talking to people and going on this and that. You know how it goes, right? <laughs> but anyhow, we had a good time. Uh, we went out Friday night, had a great time Friday night. Um, just a lot of cool cars, you know, but nothing you ain't never seen before. You know what I mean? Uh, anyhow, I um, been working on the engine, so I'm kind of giving you a part three and what's going on. Um, well, it is a part three actually. So I cleaned up the valve covers. I didn't buy no aftermarket valve covers, but I haven't installed them yet. I just got them sitting on the block on the engine, um, painting a couple things up, putting the bracket, the alternator. I got the uh, coolant tubes. I went and bought some new ones. National Home National Parts Depot is just you know, five miles away from me, so it's easy access for me to go get parts. Uh, and they're open seven days a week. That makes it real nice. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna change the headers. I got some BBK headers. I think they're BBK, I might be wrong. But anyhow, we'll find out when I put them on. I'm gonna slap those on there. And this is all stock engine, all original motor. I'm just, the headers, you know, they're not the greatest headers in the world, but they're good headers to put on a stock vehicle. So I got to change the pulleys and stuff. Um, but let's see what's going on here, man. I painted some brackets and this and that. So let's turn this, let's, let's turn this around and check her out. So as you see, I put an alternator on it and water pump looks like it's new, so I'm good there. And uh, yeah, there's my trash bag. I always have a trash bag when I'm working on this stuff. So I can so throw it on the floor, throw it in the trash bag. And, um, so I'm, I'm painting the plate that goes for the air conditioner and the power steering pump right here. I got that. I just painted it black. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, so yeah, but yeah, like I said, is uh, I just cleaned the valve covers up a little bit. Nothing fancy. I'll probably throw some paint on those. I don't know, some gray paint or something. And uh, so we're moving along. But the stock headers and everything's still on it. And I do have a set, I believe they're BBKs. Um, and they're good for a stock engine. They're not nothing fancy or anything like that. And then this right here is your heater core tubes uh, for the engine. I got that. I got the unit. This is the one right here. Talks to the ECM, tells the ECM to you know how to mix your fuel and stuff like that for the air gas mixture for the heat of the motor. And then this one over here is for your gauge. And uh, so, yeah, you know, like I said, it's coming along. I'm just doing a few things. And uh, like I said, I, I, I painted that plate right here. I'm taking the small pump and everything off of it. I'm getting ready to go to the National Parts people right now and get the uh, delete kit for it and the ETR Yep, so yeah, this is the bracket. Actually, it was kind of glossy right now, but it's gonna be the, it's a semi-gloss. So, all right, I'm going to head off to uh, National Parts Depot, and uh, I'll bring you back. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. So anyhow, this is the pulley, the elite pulley for the air pump. It's actually Ford Racing, so it's a pretty good one. Um, so I went and picked that up. I already put that on there already. Very easy install, probably could have done it while I was in the car, but I want to get this pretty much so I can set the engine down in the car. Plug and play, you know what I mean? And uh, so then I got the uh, delete, the EGR delete plate right here. There you go, you see that a little bit better. And the gasket to put on there, so some delete the EGR and this and that. And it, you know, it adds a little bit more power to the car. Nothing significant, but it, it gives you a little bit more. And like I said, getting rid of this pump, you know, you're getting rid of the drag of the pump also because it's an air pump, so that helps give a little bit more power. These things were rated at like 225 horsepower, but I think they were more like 215 or something like that. So maybe with the small mods and this and that, we can get up to 225. But, you know, I'm not really looking at um, how fast I can go because we got the Fairmont, we're gonna put that together, that's gonna be fast. You know, I got the white Shelby, that's fast probably fast enough but anyhow um so yeah so we're getting all this i put another cold on the bracket for the air conditioning pump and the power string 
pumps, so depending on what code I'm in, um, paint, so I got that over the drying. So, like I said, like, I don't know what I'm moving down the covers. I might just leave them like they are. You know, it's really no big deal. Um, I just pray that it's a good engine that runs it. It's, it's my biggest thing. So, I'm hoping today's Sunday. Um, I have the 4th of July and Friday off. So, I'm hoping that uh, I can get this engine stabbed in the car and running this week. That's my plan. So, like I said, I got a... I got underdrive pulleys and everything I'm going to put on this, um, so it's going to be cool. I mean, it's you know, I mean, and like I said, that's a little bit more power right there. You're really not going to get a lot of power unless you're, you know, doing the heads and maybe a cam change and stuff like that. That's when you'd really start feeling it. But in due time, in due time, I just want to get this thing making a nice cruiser so I can cruise it with air conditioning and stuff like that because I believe this car can handle the Michigan roads better than my Mach 1 can. I hate taking that car out because of our roads. They suck. You know what I mean? So, let me get this stuff together and uh, I'll bring you back. Alrighty, now this is the EGR delete point. This is the EGR. It actually didn't look too bad. Could have been a lot worse. So yeah, the motor hopefully it's looking better and better. Just hope it runs good. <laughs> so, it's the delete. I put that plate on there. There's a gasket that I put on there too. So, uh, hopefully that's going to be okay. So we're getting somewhere. I'll probably put this plenum back on there. I'm just going to clean it up and put it back on there. Um, I'm telling you, the flex bags come in handy for garbage. So I got the front end of the engine pretty much all together. I'm going to go out and get the. Um, the other pulleys I got, I'm going to go ahead and put those on, and there's a belt somewhere for this, but I don't know. I didn't really look at it. The belt might, might not be no good, so I don't really know what's going on with that. And I got my XT, Plenum, EGR, Lake. Not perfect, but it looks better than it did. So, all right, let me get this other stuff here together. Get this uh, other pulleys put on here and stuff. And, uh, I'll bring you back. Alrighty now, it's starting to look like an engine again. So, I got the pulleys on there. So I got the match set pulleys, one's on the alternator, the water pump, everything the same. Only got two bolts into the water pump pulley because I still got to put the fan and stuff on there. I just got to hold it on. And I got to find the right bolts for the fan pulley. So, um, those two that's on there right, I don't know, when they took the engine out of the car, they pulled the fan off, so they just threw stuff back in the car. They didn't keep anything, I don't know. But anyhow, so it started to look like an engine again. Uh, I'm gonna clean the plenum, get them back on top there, put the harness on it, the engine harness on it, and then uh, I'll bring you back. But it's starting to look a little better now, what you think? What you think, huh? Yeah, but a little bit so you can hear me a little bit better. I apologize, but it's hot. Got to have a fan. But anyhow, I turned it off for this one. Guys, I'm not done yet. Um, done for today. Uh, I still got some things to do. And the best thing about these videos is you can always refer back to them to see what you forgot or what you need to do. So not only am I showing you guys what I'm doing, I'm doing it for me so that way I can look back and see what I can do, that what I've missed or whatever. So the things that I go over is because of it helps me. So anyhow, um, I put the underdrive pulleys on, okay, and alternator. I went out there and I bought the, uh, the Elite uh, set up for the pump. And I got the EGR. I got all that done. Uh, everything's put together as far as being up front and everything. And I ran my hose. This is for, you know, coolant. This is the coolant. This goes in the back. I got my lines to hook my, my coolant up to the uh, car, done. Throttle positioning sensor, I got that hooked up. This right here is for the uh, EGR, which they have a plug set up for this, which you can plug into that, and that way your engine light won't come on because of this. So, you know, all that. I still got to hook up this orange wire, which is our ground. All right, I learned this on the blue truck because I couldn't get the blue truck running because I didn't have this damn wire hooked up. So, live and learn, right? So anyhow, I gotta still put this, I still gotta put a plug in here, because that's just a plug. 
So I still got to do that. And I have all my hoses and everything still look good. So I got everything on. The headers, I'm still debating on whether I'm going to change them or not. I still got to get these studs out. And that's nothing. I just heat that up. And uh, we got things going on. So, so far I got a lot together and this and that. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I just pray that it runs good. Because <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it to run. I just hope it don't knock or smoke. And, uh, you know, what more can you ask for for a $350 engine? And the valve covers, I didn't paint them or nothing like that. I just cleaned them up, which they turned out okay. I mean, they're, they're not perfect, but then again, it's not a perfect engine. I'm, I'm, I'm building this thing to drive, all right? I mean, it'll be nice. I'll fix it up after, I, you know, a few things, but I just want to be able to drive it. To, I want to try to get that thing running and driving this year. All right, so uh, I've already figured out what I'm going to do about the, the interior, and I hope... <laughs> that I can make me some extra money to get the interior that I want to do. Um, it'll all come in time. But yeah, like I said, so I'm, sure I'm gonna try to get this thing planted in the car this coming week. So the 4th of July, the wife says, no, I'm not having a barbecue. We're relaxing this weekend. I said, good, you can help me out in the garage work on my car. She goes, I'll help you. So. Can't ask for better than that, you know? Yeah, yeah, buddy. I guess, you know, she likes to learn too, so. She's actually probably smarter than I am. But, you know, I mean, guys, like I always tell you, we have my little trash bag. I love it, because look, that thing's full. It's full, so I can throw it away. So next time I come out to work on this thing, I'll go ahead and get me another one and bring it out. Yeah, buddy. So anyhow, guys, I appreciate you watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This is number three, I think it is. <laughs> Who knows? But anyhow, uh, we're pretty much got it together, pretty much ready to have it so we can stab it in the car this week. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to go in here on the internet. I'm going to see if I can find a couple decent tires because I got two tires that keep going flat. So let's see what I can find. I probably got some at the junkyard, but I really don't feel like going back there and digging them out. So, guys, let me go back in the room here, wash my hands and stuff, and I'll talk to you a little bit more, so I'll bring you right Oh, back. man. Guys, I worked on that thing today. Oh, yeah, buddy. So, anyhow, guys, I appreciate you watching and stuff like that. Uh, the motor seems to turn over good. It's got a decent compression. Turn it over. It's not real it's simple, you know what I mean? Um, I think the valve covers, when I first took it apart, they were loose. I think they just come loose. You know, they just came loose. So I took and got everything, put new gaskets on, put new uh, plenum gasket on, cleaned everything up. Um, so, I mean, everything looks good. The EGR, I took the EGR off. That looked clean, you know. So I put the delete kit on there. I still got by the plug to uh, finish the delete so the engine light don't come on. Here, just walked my beautiful wife. And... Um, so, uh, I guess we can call this a pretty good day. Yeah, buddy. Pr pr productive day. <laughs> so, anyhow, like I said, I got to work uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I have to work Wednesday afternoons because they don't have nobody to cover the assembly line for the afternoon shift. So, I am going in on Wednesday during the day on afternoons. Um, then I get Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. So, um, and you know Sunday, but I go back to work Sunday night, which is my Monday and uh, So I'm hoping to put the engine in then okay, I went over and I got the uh, torque converter for my brother and uh, excuse me and um, So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use it or not because it's kind of rusty I'm gonna see if I can clean it up I don't know. So I got to put a new seal in the transmission and clean all that up. Um, so, wish me luck. <laughs> so hopefully I can get the motor stabbed in here this week. And uh, we can fire it up and uh, see how she runs. And if she runs good and everything like that, I'll go ahead and finish putting everything together. Uh, the interior, I am going to... I, I, 
people for for black interior, a nice interior, they want five hundred bucks. And that's usually just the seats and maybe the panels and stuff like that. So I'm going to go to National Parts Depot, and I am going to get the Mach One style interior input into it, which is pretty nice. Um, I'll probably have to borrow some money off my wife. I didn't get no reaction out of her. I figured I would. But uh, I'll give you a little idea what the Mach 1 interior looks like. Oop, I didn't know that one. Oh, 0304 Mach 1. That's nice. So, yeah, let's see what we got here. Let me find it. Let me find it. It's here somewhere. I promise you. I promise you. Unless my wife hit it on me. No. She wouldn't do that. She loves me <laughs> sometimes. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go with the Mach 1 style interior. Uh, the seats for the front and, and the two front seats, which are buckets, and the rear passenger seat. Um, I'm looking at about just a little over $600. But by the time I go out and buy them, have to take them out of the car and everything else, that's right there what they look like. So that is what I'm planning on putting in the Mustang. Um, they're really nice seats and everything else. And the door panels too, I'm gonna buy too. The door panels, and door panels are a little pricey, a little bit more pricier than the seats for Unreal. I, I figured door panels would be cheaper, but they're not, they're really, about the same, a little bit more expensive. So that's the interior that I'm gonna go with. Um, and it's what, right here, it says uh, 92, 93 hatchback. Um, you're looking at $609.63. That's not bad though, it's not bad. If I tell you, if you want to go ahead and read a poster or anything like that, <clears throat> it's gonna cost you that. So I got plans for the car, so hopefully we can fulfill my plans and uh, get this thing rolling 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 and uh we'll be back to the fair map because uh that's what i'm really gonna build <laughs> i'm just putting this thing together the fair map's gonna be built to the hilt yeah baby but anyhow i'm still gonna go with 302 347 on that uh the 92 gt is gonna be stock i'm gonna leave it stock like i guess as i might put those headers on it that i got but if I don't, it don't make a difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then maybe later on or whatever, then we'll do something with the Mustang. But I plan on keeping it, keeping it for a long time. It's hard to find those Fox bodies that are untouched. Guys, hey, thank you for watching me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. New subscribers, old subscribers, I love you all. All right, guys, have a great day. And, man, is it, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to be in a garage or outside fishing, whatever. Get out of the house.